Now we're going to get to the fun part, which is editing our website. So all you have to do is when you're on the page that you want to edit, just click edit with Elementor. Once you do that, Elementor will pop up and in the middle, you're going to see add new section. Just click on that. Then it's going to say select your structure. And this is just asking you for this section, how many different columns do you want? So do you want just one column? Do you want two? Do you want three? And you'll be able to figure it out real easy once you just start doing it. For now, we're just going to click on one column. Then it's going to add it to the top right here. On the left side, we can add all of our elements, like different columns or heading or images, just everything that you want to add, all the content you would want to add, you can add on the left side right here. We're just going to drag over a heading. And we can change what it says by typing over here. So we're just going to select it and say Explore. Then we're going to align it in the center. Then we're going to click Style up on top. And we're going to change the text color. You can choose any color here, or you can enter in your own color. We're going to enter in our own color. So this color is 69A3DD. Then for typography, we're going to choose on, and we can select the size. So we can make it really big or really small, or we can enter in our own value right here. For the font weight, you can choose 100, which is really thin, or 500, which is pretty normal, or 900, which is really bold. We're just going to keep it at 500. For the letter spacing, we're going to choose 4.7. And that's about it for the style. Now we're going to go to advance. So for this link button right here, it will link all the values together. So if one value is 5, they will all be 5. So we're just going to unlink it so that we can change different values for the top and the right and the bottom and the left. For the top, we're going to put 200. And the margin is how far away something is. So if we're standing next to each other, the margin would be the distance from me to you. And we can do something pretty cool here for entrance animation. We can make it fade down or fade left or fade in. Or we can make it swing or wobble or jello. Those are some pretty cool effects. We're just going to do fade in down. That looks pretty cool. To go back and get more elements, we could click on this top right menu right here. And let's add another heading. Let's make this a subheadline. And let's change the title to everything and love what you do. So I'll say explore everything and love what you do. Let's center that. Click on style. Let's change the color to this nice gray, 75, 75, 75. And choose typography as on. Then we can change the size. Let's change this to 19 pixels. And choose the weight as 500. And we're done with that, so let's add another element. Let's click on columns, because we want two columns. We want one to the left and one to the right. And this is how we'll add two buttons side by side. Then click Advanced and unlink the padding. So if the margin is the distance between us, the padding, for me, would be how fat I am, basically. So let's say I was really, really fat. I had all of this padding on me. It would just pad me. So sometimes it works the same as margin, but it is a little bit different because padding is more on the inside and it will make more sense in just a second. So let's add five padding to the top and 200 padding on the bottom. And that'll just give a little bit more space on the bottom. Okay, let's click to add a new element and let's drag in our buttons. So just click, hold and drag and click, hold and drag in a new button. All right, just click on the left button and we can change the text to our mission. And we can change the link to forward slash about. So that will link to the about page. For alignment, we want to press right because we want it right next to our other button. Now let's click on style and turn typography as on. And for the size, we're going to put in 13 pixels. And if we scroll down, we can click on normal. This is what our button looks like normally. And under text color, we can choose a different color. We're just going to keep it as default. And for background color, we can choose any color we want and the button will change. But we're going to put in a specific color, which is 1099D5. So it's a nice blue. Then for border radius, that is how sharp the edges are. We're going to put in 5, so it gives a little rounded edges. If we put in 50, it'll give us really rounded edges. But we're just going to keep it as 5. Then for the hover color, we're going to change these values. And the hover color is when you're hovering over the button, 
it should change colors slightly so people know that it's a button. So for our background color, we're gonna make it 51AE D6. And we can see when we hover over it, it will turn a little lighter. This just tells our users that we're on a button and we are hovering. We can also change the animation for when we're hovering. So we could make it shrink or pop or bounce in. And when we hover over it, it will bounce in or pop or shrink. So that's pretty cool. But we're not going to do any sort of animation on our button. All right, now let's click the other button. And let's change the text to view our work. And the link is going to be forward slash r dash work. And this will link to the r work page. So for alignment, it's already left, but we're just going to click on left again. And now we can click on style and turn typography on. We're going to put in 13 pixels again. And if we scroll down, we could click on normal. And for background color, let's choose a color. We're just going to choose white. But we're also going to choose how transparent it is. So let's make our button see-through by clicking, holding, and dragging this level down. All right, now we can't see our button, obviously. But if we click on this column right here and go to Style, then click on Classic as the background type and choose Color, and we choose any random color, we can see that the View Our Work button is transparent, so it takes on the color of the background. All right, let's just keep that there so that we can see it for now. Then we can click on our button again and click on Style again. And now we can change our button and actually see what's happening. So for border type, we're going to click on solid. And for border width, we're going to put in two pixels. So if you put in 20 pixels, it'll be very thick. Two pixels is very thin. Then for color, we're going to make it white. So the border color is white. Then for border radius, we're going to put in five again. So it's a little rounded on the edges. And for text padding, we're going to put in 10 for the top, 13 for the right, 10 for the bottom, and 13 for the left. And this explains padding a little bit better. See, padding is on the inside. So for text padding, it's sort of like fat. If the view our work were our bones, then the padding would be our fat and muscles. And then the border would be our skin. So I hope that makes sense. All right, now we can scroll up and click on hover. So what do we want to happen when we hover over this with our mouse? We could click on text color and let's make it a different color, 00A3EF, sort of this blue. So when we hover over it, it'll turn blue. And for background color, let's make it white, but let's make it not see-through, so not transparent. And for border color, we're also gonna make it white. All right, now we can click on this whole section again and click on style, and let's change this background image. So let's click on background type, classic, Let's clear this color and let's click on image and select files. All right, let's find our image. And again, you can download all of these images in the description below. And we're just gonna click on the explore.jpg. Then click insert media and we'll see this nice background right here. For position, we can press center center and the image will focus in the center or default and it'll focus on the top left. We're just gonna keep it as default for the size, we're gonna make it cover. So, so cover will make it so that we see more of the image. Then we can click on save to save our progress so far. Press the X button to exit out of there and view our page. And that looks pretty sweet. All right, we can exit out of there and we can click on our buttons to make sure that they work. So this does go to the about section and this should go to the our work page, which it does. All right, we can go back to the home page and click edit with Elementor to continue working on our home page. The next thing that we're gonna do is add another section to our website. To do that, just scroll down and click add new section. Again, we're just gonna choose a single column and now we can drag in another heading. For the heading title, we're gonna type making the world a better place and under alignment, we're gonna center it. Then we can click on style and change the text color. We're going to change it to 636363. Then click Typography on. And for the size, we're going to put 32. For the weight, we're going to choose 300, which is going to make it thinner. And that's all we have to do for that. Then click Advanced and unlink the values together. 
so that we can put in different values for each top, right, bottom, and left. For the margin top, we're going to choose 50, and for the margin bottom, we're going to choose 50 also. This is going to give us a little space on the top and bottom. And that's all we have to do for the title. Now let's add another section, and this time let's select three columns. Now let's add another element by clicking on this element menu button, and let's drag in an image to the first column. All right, let's add another element, and this time we're going to add in a text editor because we want text under our image. So let's drag that right below our image, and let's click on this toolbar toggle icon to get more options. Then let's center the text, and now let's add some spacing around the text by going to advanced. Then uncheck link values together, so we can give different values to each top, right, bottom, and left. And we're going to be changing the padding. And remember, padding is on the inside. So for right, we're going to put 20. And for left, we're going to put 20. This is going to give us some padding on the left and right side. Now we can click the elements icon and drag in a button. We're just going to drag that to the bottom. And click on the button and align it to the center. Then click style and turn typography on. Make the size 12 pixels. And for background color, let's make it 1097D3, so a nice blue color. Then let's go to the top left of our column right here and click on the duplicate button and click it again. So now we have three of the columns. But now we have some extra columns up here, so we're actually going to exit out of them. So just hover over the extra column and click on the X, then press delete. And now we have our three different columns all filled out. We just have to put in different information. So click on the first image and click choose your image and upload files and select files. Then choose the image that you want. We're just going to go into the icon folder and choose this float icon. Press open, it'll upload and insert media. Now do that again for the second image. Press choose image, upload files, select files. Click on the gallery icon or whatever one you want. Press open and insert media. Then click on the third image and click choose image, upload files, select files. We're gonna do the ocean squid. Press open, insert media, and it will upload. All right, now we're gonna change the text. So just highlight the box, type in services or whatever your title is. Make a new line by pressing enter. Click on the paste as plain text icon. This is because we want to paste your text as plain text because we don't want all the formatting to come with it on your website. So sometimes when you copy text from like Microsoft Word or from anywhere, it'll have hidden formatting and we don't want to copy that over into your website. We want to format it on your website itself and not carry over formatting from different places. All right, now we can highlight our title and make it a heading three, which will make it a headline three, basically. So the third headline. Headline one is the biggest, two is smaller, and three is even smaller, all the way to six, which is really small. Then we can align it center, and now highlight our text and align that center also. All right, let's click on the next text block and type in our title. Make a new line by pressing enter, and click paste as plain text, so no formatting comes over and paste in our text or type it in. Then highlight our work, make it a heading three, align it to the center, highlight our text and align it to the center. Next, click on the third column text and highlight it and put in our title. Click the paste as plain text, paste in your content or type it in, highlight the title, click heading three, center it, highlight our text and center that also. All right, we're getting a lot closer. Let's click on the first column button. And for text, let's type view services in all caps. And for the link, we want it to go to forward slash services. So that will bring it to our website.com forward slash services, which is where our services page lives. Next, click the second column button. And for the text, all in caps, let's put our work. And for the link, let's do forward slash r dash work which is where our, our work page lives. Next, click on the third column button. And for here, we're gonna put contact us. And for the link, we're gonna do forward slash contact. And now we are all done with that section. So let's click on save. And now it's saved, we can click the X and view our page. 
and we can see that that is looking pretty cool. And if we click on any of the buttons, it will go to that page, like services, our work, or contact us. All right, we could just go to the home page and exit out of there. And again, click edit with Elementor, and that will launch Elementor to get us ready editing our third and final section. So the first thing that we wanna do is scroll down and click add new section. Then let's choose two columns and click on this menu icon to edit the column. And what we wanna do now is change the background color. So click on style. For background type, choose classic and click on color. And we're just gonna make it a light gray, FC, FC, FC. And next we're gonna give it some more space. So click advanced and under margin top, type 50 and unlink the values so margin bottom can be zero. This will give it some space at the top. We're also gonna add a little padding. Remember padding is on the inside. So we're gonna unlink the values and put 40 at the top and 40 at the bottom. This will make our box a little bit bigger. Then we can click on the add elements button and let's drag in a heading to the left column. And let's change the title to say our work. Then we could click on style and turn typography on. For the size, let's type in 31 pixels. And for the line height, let's make it 0.7. The line height is how big your line is. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's scroll up and click advanced and unlink the values together. And for the margin top, let's put 20 to give it a little space. Let's click the add elements icon and let's add some text under our work. We can highlight the text and click paste as text and paste in our text. All right, let's click the add elements icon and add a new column to the right column. So this is a column within a column. This will make it so we can have two buttons side by side. Click on this menu to edit the columns and click advanced. Unlink the values together. For margin top, let's put in 27. That will give us a little more space at the top. And let's add another element. Let's drag in a button to the left column. And for text, let's put our services. And for a link, it's gonna to go to the R services page, which is forward slash services. Let's align the button to the right and click on style. Turn typography on, let's put in 13 pixels. Scroll down and under normal for background color, let's put in 13497E to give us this dark blue. For border radius, let's put in five to give it some rounded edges. And let's click the add element button again and drag in another button, but to the right column. Let's change the text to see us in action and the link to forward slash r dash work. Let's click on style to change how it looks. Turn typography on, make it 13 pixels. And for the text color, let's make it 13497E, so that dark blue again. And for the background color, let's make it white and see-through, transparent, so just Take that level and slide it all the way down. For border type, let's choose solid. Let's give it two pixels as the width. And for color, let's give it that dark blue color. So 13497E. And for border radius, let's make it five. So it's a little rounded. And our button seems a little bit bigger than the R services button. And that's because we have a border around it. So let's make the text padding a little bit smaller. So for text padding, I'm just gonna put in 10 and it'll be the same for all the values. All right, now let's go to hover. And for our text color, let's make it 6E, C1, E4, so a light blue. And for our background, let's just make it white and see-through. And for our border color, let's make it again 6E, C1, E4. All right, and now when we hover over it, it'll turn a light blue. All right, now we can click on save to save our progress and exit out of there and view our page. And our page is looking pretty good. And if we click on any of the links, they will work. And it looks pretty sweet.